With the Dolphins in town, future Jets prospects had little to cheer about. Quicksilver Mercury Morris opened the scoring on a 19-yarder the first time Miami had the ball. But quarterback Al Woodall led New York right back on a pass to number 83, Jerome Barkham. The pass led to a John Riggins score. With the game tied at seven, Riggins continued to pose a double threat as receiver and runner. His three-yard score up the middle put the Jets ahead, 14 to seven. But then the much-praised Dolphin defense began to crack down. And while the defense got rough, so did the offense as Mercury ran into some unexpected interference. Both parties emerged unhurt, and the Miami Lightning bolt went on to further collisions, this time in the Jets' end zone at the end of a four-yard score punctuated by an all-star spike. Then Bob Greasy lofted a wind-hampered floater that Paul Warfield had to come back on. The tricky maneuver crossed up the defender, Warfield pranced in for the score. Down 24 to 14, Woodall tried to come back. He hit little Eddie Bell, who figured the effort was worth a little bell ringing of his own. But in the end, the Dolphins' defense blanketed Woodall's receivers and pressured him out of the pocket where he became fair game in a losing game as the Dolphins chalked up the win, number seven, 24 to 14.